I say yo, welcome to the BBW show, you feel me? We talk battle rap, basketball, and wrestling on a daily basis. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. The topic for today is NBA Power Rankings. Yes, yes, yes. I didn't do Power Rankings last week because it was the first week at the All-Star break. A lot of teams was like 2-0 and already. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to take off last week. Let me come back this week strong. You feel me? Now, this was a great week of basketball. Great week of basketball. I'm not going to lie. We coming down to the wire. The playoffs start in like eight weeks, seven weeks probably. We coming down to the wire. Coming down to the wire. Now, number one on my NBA power rankings this week is the Denver Nuggets. I'm not going to lie. Excuse me. The championship Denver Nuggets. A lot of people have not been talking about the Denver Nuggets this year because they're the champions, reigning defending, respectfully. They've definitely been flying under the radar. And they had a lot of, not injuries, but not major injuries, but key injuries. Jamal Murray missed a few games. KCP missed a few games. Aaron Gordon got bit by his dog, I think. You feel me? Even with all that going on, they still the third seed right now. Still the third seed right now. And if we being honest, I would not be surprised if Jokic wins MVP. I will not be surprised at it. Jokic is going crazy this year. Crazy this year. Crazy this year. Shout out to Nikola Jokic. They beat the Heat, the Kings, the Warriors, the Blazers, and the Washington Wizards. Shout out to the Denver Nuggets. Next, we have the OKC Thunder. Right now, they're on a six-game winning streak. Shout out to them. They definitely went crazy. No, they lost last night to the Spurs. So they 6-1. and one. They was on a nice winning streak right now. Um... A lot of people have Shea and their MVP conversation. I do too, but the thing that's taken him out of it is because last year he averaged 30 and they wasn't the first seed. I think one of the key the key to the Thunder right now is Chet Holmgren. Chet is was really taking him over the top to me. And Jason Williams is playing good. Luke Dort. You feel me? They got a nice, good young players that definitely elevated their game from last year. I feel like it's kind of easy for Shea because his team is playing so good. And they unexpected. You feel me? They like the Memphis Grizzlies of a few years ago or the Sacramento Kings of last year. We just got to see what they're going to do in the playoffs. But shout out to the OKC Thunder. Next, we got the Cleveland Cavaliers. Last week, they was 3-1. and one. They beat the Wizards, the Mavs, and, the, and they lost to the Chicago Bulls. And they beat the 76ers. Shout out to Spider Mitchell and the Cavs. Right now, they're the second seed in the Eastern Conference. Second seed in the Eastern Conference, led by superstar Spider Mitchell. Yes, we still have to start calling him that now. Superstar Spider Mitchell. Yes, yes, yes. I was all flat to start the season because they got beat by the Knicks in the first round. But he's definitely having a great year this year. Great year this year. Shout out to Spider Mitchell. So that's the Nuggets, OKC, the Cavs. Um, next, I'm going to go with the Boston Celtics. Yes, the Boston Celtics. They are on the street before All-Star game. They was winning before All-Star game. But last week, or this week, they beat Philly, the Knicks, and they beat the Chicago Bulls. And like I said, they was already on the street, you feel me? And when you look at the Eastern Conference standings, the Celtics got everybody by like eight games. Everybody. The Bucks, Philly, Knicks, Cavs, everybody. They got them by like eight games, you hear me? Boston could definitely start resting right now and be good for the playoffs. Shout out to the Boston Celtics, though. They're having a great season. I hope they don't get injured. I hope there's no injuries. I want to see them fully healthy come to playoffs so there's no excuses. That's shout out to the Boston Celtics. And last but certainly not least, the fifth seed, the fifth team, excuse me, for NBA Power Rankings. Golden State Warriors. Yes, 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 yes. Klay Thompson off the bench is going crazy. Crazy. Let's go. Six-man clay, man. I like it. I like it. This is some real dynasty stuff right here. This is a real dynasty. So, Clay Thompson was playing not up to par when he was starting. They put him on the bench. Golden State start winning. Give him a new burst of energy. Everybody playing a role. Everybody like playing together. It's good. Golden State is cooking right now. Right now, they was 4-1 and one in the last week. They beat the Lakers, beat the Hornets, beat the Wizards, lost the Nuggets, and they beat the Knicks last night. Shout to Golden State. You hear me? Shout to Golden State. Klay Thompson. Six-man Klay Thompson. 
This would be dope. If he resigns with Golden State and they make him come off the bench going forward, he can be the next Manu Ginobili. I feel like that. Klay Thompson could be the next Manu Ginobili. Obviously, the games is completely different, but I'm talking about a star player going from one of the best six men ever. You hear me? Manu Ginobili did that. Some people go from the best six men ever to a starter like James Harden. Manu went from a great champion to one of the best six men ever. You hear me? In his later career. Klay Thompson could do that. I would not be mad if Klay Thompson pulled a Manu Ginobili. I would not be mad at that. That's definitely going to keep the dynasty going forward. And that's going to give them a chance to bring in some other people at they start a shooting guard position. It makes sense in every aspect, bro. Every aspect, it makes sense for us to get six-man Clay. Six-man Clay, Manu Ginobili, Clay Thompson, whatever you want to call them. I'm all for this, bro. I'm all for this. And I feel like it should have happened earlier. We should have got Clay off the bench earlier. We should have got Clay off the bench earlier. I'm not going to lie. He's cooking right now, bro. He is cooking. Cooking. Shout out to the Golden State Warriors and Klay Thompson. So let's run that back. We got the Denver Nuggets. We got the Boston Celtics. OKC. Cleveland Cavaliers. Golden State Warriors. Those are my five teams for NBA, week, NBA Power Rankings. Week 14. Like, comment, share, subscribe. I'll be back with more.